Hello guys, this is Jeremy with Chill One here, and I'm bringing you back some more Wasted Youth, so let's go. Alright, we left off on the principal's computer, hacking the system to get the files for the goth kid. saw this I kind of made the same sound for when I log in right. select the profile oh, you can look <laughs> oh. Adrian is a talented young sportsman who seems to ignore all the subjects in favor of his training. He is intelligent enough to do well in academic subjects, but seems convinced he will become a famous footballer. Behavior. He is well behaved and one of the few people's Mr. P what? That's his name? <laughs> Mr. Bastard. <laughs> seems to have any respect for. No illness. Ever? Okay. He must be convinced that academic subjects are less important than sport. This may be difficult. He believes he is going to be the next David Beckham. And aims to match him in every way, including intelligence. Like how you can look at everybody's records. Annabelle. The proper little madam. Sh I don't know if we have time for this. I might have to make a separate video for this. Could be now. But alright, let's read. I want to read all of these. Annabelle is a proper little madam. She or, she sees herself as anyone who isn't rich and believes lessons are in, unimportant as she thinks she can simply make it through life using her father's money. I fear she might be right. She is uninterested throughout all her lessons and usually among the first to leave. She refuses to go into the nurse's office because it is dirty. The only way she will improve it is if her parents take away her money. They refuse to do this because she is their little princess. Brian. Brian is laid back and seems unconcerned about anything. This is troublesome when it comes to his schoolwork. He only does the work he thinks he needs to do to get by. Sometimes it's, this work falls short. Behavior. He does not misbehave, but he has an air of rebellion about him. Watch him closely. Illness records. No illness. Areas for improvement. He is capable for getting the grades he needs, but only as long as he is prepared to do the work. Anthony is a rich girl who gets everything she wants. She annoys me. <laughs> she annoys me. Why can't I get what I want? She is not particularly obnoxious, but she is used to the best. The facilities here may be a culture shock. She is well behaved and shows a genuine desire to learn. I'll bet. I'll beat only occasionally. Illness records. A couple of rashes from wearing fur underwear. Okay. She is capable of getting the grades she needs. I don't believe she'll prove a problem. Chris, this, this kid who just stood in the hallway with a spider web on his face. Chris shows no interest in anything whatsoever. I have seen him stand in the same spot for hours on end. I have advised the teachers to give him the occasional prod to make sure he isn't dead. <laughs> I find it difficult to write a behavior report for someone who never does anything. Illness, cramp, and bed sores. What? Activity of any kind would be an improvement. I wonder if he had some sort of trauma in his childhood. These are very serious profiles. What does that say? Yeah. Uh, Casey says she has based her appearance on Karen O of the Yeah Yeah Yeahs. Miss Minerva says she wishes Casey was a little bit older. I have no idea what either of these mean. <laughs> she has a smart mouth which can get her in trouble. Miss Minerva often keeps her behind after class. No illness. Grades are showing slow improvement, but she is coming ahead leaps and bounds in foreign languages. Daria. Daria has certain beliefs that many people would find object objectionable. She is disgusted by any nationality that isn't her own and would probably believe Hitler was right if it wasn't for the fact he was German. 
Several pupils and members of staff have complained about her racist abuse, but she seems unable to understand why it is frowned upon. Was once physically sick after eating a croissant. There is no hope for for her and for this. I blame the parents. I spoke to her father, and not only does he hold the same beliefs as her, he thinks the world is flat. <laughs> God. Hey, it's fat. It's fat ass. Uh, Eugene is a disgusting fat ginger kid. <laughs> I don't like fat people, but to be gin, but to be ginger is even. Oh my God! What is wrong with this guy? Avoid him, whatever, wherever possible. Note to self: I should change the description before. Austin oh, said. <laughs> Behavior: I think he is greedy, but my staff said he has a developed palate and is always trying new food. He helped to improve our school's meals, so I guess I owe him that. Stomach bug after eating a caterpillar. Stupid. His schoolwork remains an average, but his cooking. S what the heck? Oh, my video uploaded. Alright. Come on. Alright. His schoolwork remains ever average, but his cooking skills are unprecedented. This fat kid will probably become a fat chef. God, these teachers are so mean. Elaine. Elaine seems to spend her life reading books rather than making any effort to relate with people. When she does speak to anyone, she only speaks about books. Oh, God. When she fi first started, her behavior was influenced by whatever book she was reading at the moment. This proved problematic that when she was reading A Clockwork Orange. What? Eye strain. Areas for improvement. Her behavior is no longer directly influenced by books. The teachers are now teaching her by slipping school books into her bag. Okay. Fred. Fred is the stupidest person I've ever met. I have met more intelligent corpses. Aw, that's so mean. He is capable of forgetting things that people told him just minutes before and has a disturbing preoccupation with shiny things. I behavior. I can't help but think his stupidity is a front a disguise. Nobody can truly be that dumb. Maybe he's a spy. <laughs> Illness records. Tends to walk into things. Have also held him in the for brain testing. Areas for improvement. I don't know what to say. The nurse says he shows no evidence of having a mental illness. There's no treatment possible. His future is uncertain. Faye. Faye is another person's, another spoiled little rich kid, but she seems to have much more self-awareness than her peers. She will mix with the poorer pupils and has a good sense of humor. She pays attention during class and has a genuine desire to learn. It seems her biggest fear is to end up like Paris Hilton. Um, I don't know what happened to Paris Hilton, but alright. Illness record, no illness. Areas for improvement. When she first came here, she wasn't sure what to do with her life, and her, her mind had been messed up by too much exposure to rich idiots, so her time here has been greatly beneficial. Well, that's good. Guy. The American. 69. A true patriot will wear that shirt. Guy is from America, but for some reason he has decided this should define his personality. He has purposely turned himself into a stereotype to give himself an identity. Okay. His behavior depends on which American state he has decided to base his personal personality on 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 any given day. Two ons. Oh, okay. Personality on. On any given day. Alright. Self-inflicted gun wound. Okay. He seems under the impression that Americans are stupid, so his grades are poor. We are working hard to help him discover his real personality. Grace. Okay, weirdo. I like that tie. I like that shirt and tie, though. Grace stinks. Seriously. The reason she failed at previous schools is because her teachers couldn't stand to be in the same room as her. My staff have undergone training so they can withstand her stench. She is not particularly badly behaved, and everyone is becoming used to her smell now, so there are fewer inst instances of spontaneous puking. Medical tests have not revealed the source of her smell. Vagina. I once considered selling her to the government <laughs> for as a use as a biological weapon. <laughs> what? Her grades are getting better, but I might suggest this to her as her future career idea. Harold. Uh-oh. We got a nerd in the house. Harold was in a quiet... St 
was in quite a state when he got here. He had locked himself in his room for several days playing internet games and going on to forums to do something he described as flaming noobs. <laughs> we are getting his gaming habit down to a few hours a day. He seems to have started playing so much because he... It seems he started playing so much because he finds it hard to make friends. Permanent acne? Or he's... Oh, God, that, that sucks. He is beginning to develop real skills in programming and even engineering. I feel it will be most productive to focus on these skills. Heather. I think that's, uh... Nate's friend. Girlfriend. Heather had social problems when she first came here because everyone knew she kept telling her she was beautiful and better than everyone else. She began to believe what they said and turned into a total bitch. <laughs> these teachers are so mean. She has overcome her previous problems and returned to her previous friendly personality. No illness. Heather is on track and getting all the grades she needs. No problems here. Ian now seems to realize that Realize academic knowledge is necessary to make it in life, but he seems destined to live a life of unfolding sexual consequences. Bastard! <laughs> Irene. Irene shuns most forms of social interaction, preferring to be by herself. She does talk in class and will speak when spoken to, but seems to be preparing herself as a lifer, as a hermit. She spends a lot of time learning about her self-sufficiency... She tends to sleep anywhere other than her dormitory bed, unknown. She tends to treat any injuries herself. Her grades remain average. She does the work, but seems uninterested in any academic subjects. Joey. Joey is a good boy. Joey is my friend. I like Joey. Joey can read minds. This has had absolutely no effect on my report on Joey. Joey is a good boy. He's real. <laughs> He's controlling his mind. Everybody likes Joey. Joey is my friend. Joey never gets ill. Joey is a good boy. Joey is a good boy. Joey is a good boy. Janet. Janet is a very friendly person and is totally well adjusted. The only reason she is here is that she basically isn't very intelligent. We will help her get the grades she needs. And my dog is barking again. Great. Again, she is a very pleasant individual who gets on with everyone, even Mr. P Mr. Bastard. Tends to not be so mean to her. No illness. Her grades are on the increase, so no worries. She could probably be anything she wants to be. Oh, God. Uh, what a punk. Kevin comes from a rough area, and he is tougher than most. He received an as What? As I don't know what that is. On his first birthday, and here he is on release from a Young Offenders Institute. He often gets into fights. I fear his crimes are progressing from mere theory to mugging and robbery. He has been treated for cuts and bruises, but full details are not available because he stole his records. <laughs> His grades have taken a sudden sharp rise recently when he has become one of our best pupils. I fear this is because he realizes the probability of a white collar crime. Kim. Hmm. Kim is an incredibly athletic young woman and in fact is the best sports player in the school. She often has tips for other pupils on how to improve their health and fitness. This is actually a better teacher than Mr. 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 I'm glad to have someone like her at the school. It was lucky for us as the bad grades she got at her last school had a comment. What? It was lucky for the as the bad grades she got at her last school had come as a complete surprise. Minor sports related injuries. Other people who was expected to get good grades and get on well in life. I doubt it. In fact, she has actually needed her specialist help. Lou. Lou is an enigma. He takes interest in subjects and topics that nobody else has. He's very tuned in dis the state of the world and speaks openly about his own personal experiences. Mr. Andrews hates him with a passion during music lessons. He will constantly experiment with feedback and distortion. No illness. He seems to destined to become a musician of some sort. I'm just con concerned he will not be everyone's taste. I'm going to end this episode here. We'll continue next episode. I'm sorry, but I really want to read this. So thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, rate, share, and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you later. Bye.
got a million ways to get it. Uh-huh. Shoes one. Shoes one. Hey, bring 